Yes. Okay, very nice. Well, great to have all four of you here. You've been recently recognized as an Apple School of Distinction, and uh, I want to ask you a couple questions about that. But first and foremost, I need to know who would be the best person to ask about that. Which of you would handle that question? I swear, this is Katie Worthington, the principal at Marlowe. All right. Well, Katie, tell me about being selected as an Apple School of Distinction. How do the fine folks at the huge company that is Apple <laughs> know about Marlowe? Oh, my goodness. It has been uh, quite a process, and um, we are so happy to, for you all to have us on your show this morning. Um, so about six years ago, the Marlowe staff and I, we went on a professional development journey um, to enhance technology innovation skills within the classroom. And our goal really was to um, be able to empower students to use technology to be able to collaborate, um, create, innovate, and enhance their instruction. Um, we knew that technology was going to be a, a, the way of the future. It's here. And that at some point we're going to be one-on-one -on -one devices. And sure enough, Berkeley County Schools, you know, they're forward-thinking, and they provide us that opportunity to be one-on-one -on -one with technology in the classroom. And so the staff at Marlowe, they just, they always want to be prepared and ready to go and be very knowledgeable in what they're going to be, any tools they're using within the classroom. So again, like I said, we went on this journey of professional development with an Apple coach for five years. It was intense. Um, our staff was dedicated to this process and um, we were recommended um, by an Apple um, consultant to, or an Apple coach um, to apply for this designation. Um, she felt that we were prepared and ready for this. And so last year we decided that we were going to, within our I team and the rest of our support staff here, that we were going to, we were going to try. And um, we thought we were ready. Um, so there's four criteria to be eligible. Um, first off, thanks to Berkeley County Schools, um, we have an established one-on-one -on -one technology program. Um, we are innovative in the use of the Apple platform. We have um, our leadership and faculty are proficient in iPad and or Mac. And then finally, we had to have an innovative leadership team. And so we had to have those four categories. And then we submitted three videos. Um, one was about Inspire, the second is Imagine, and the third is Impact. And um, after a year process of working on this application, we submitted our video near the la before the last day of school, and we found out about, I don't know, maybe it was about a month ago or two months ago, September, um, that we were honored to receive this designation. Can I ask, uh, before Bill and Maria have some questions for you, too, how many students sure. are at Marlowe and how many instructors do you have? We have 300 students, pre-K through 2, and we have about 55 staff members total here at Marlowe. So pre-K through 2, you have 300 students? Yes. Wow. That's a lot of kids. That's, yeah. that, that is impressive. <laughs> We're busy. Yeah, okay. Bill? Yeah. Uh, good morning, uh, Katie. Uh, how many, good morning. How many schools, are you the only school in Berkeley County that has gone through this Apple uh, coach training? <laughs> Sure. So Enwood Primary School was the first school in the county um, that received the Apple Distinguished School um, recognition, and that was last year. And then we are the second one in the county. I know for the state of West Virginia this year that um, we are the only two in the state um, that received this recognition for this year. How many th uh, throughout the country? Do you have any idea? You know, I'm, I'm not sure, sir. I think there's roughly maybe six or 700 in the world. Can I can I just jump in here too? If you start calling Bill Sir, then I'm going to have to start calling him that, and he's going to demand everybody refer to him as Sir. Can we just keep it in what full? A, okay? What a great idea! Keep on, Katie. Keep on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um, uh, so the question was with specifics or examples. I think you may have mentioned that uh, the familiarity or the um, uh, or the scale working with with Apple devices. That was that one of the main objectives. Yeah, you know, we had to have an established um, one on one program, and we have our students have Apple um, iPads, so every child has that. Um, and so we had to be able to show that we were fluid with, with using the device as an instructional tool. And, you know, with, you know, kids have, you know, they always have technology in their hands. So we didn't want to have technology in the kids' hands all day long. That doesn't make you an Apple Distinguished Schools at all. You cannot replace the teacher in the classroom at all and hands-on learning and so on. So our, our one of our focuses was to make sure that technology was being used to enhance our students' instruction 
and, and to help with the learning process. If the technology was not going to be able to do that, then we, we don't use technology unless it's necessary to enhance our instruction because I think the kids get enough technology in their lives. Um, and so we just want to make sure, is it purposeful and is there a true reason that we are using this technology? Um, and so that was really important to all of us here at Marlowe. Yeah, during last session, the legislators made a big push for enhancing the education from grade one to three. Uh, are you seeing some direct results of that at this point in time? Um, I'm not sure how, if that applies to this Apple Distinguished School. No, I, it, it does not. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm making more general excuses. Sorry. sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maria? Yeah, yeah I, I'm, ha- I'm sorry. I'm happy to talk Apple Distinguished Schools with you for sure. That's what we're excited yeah. to share with you all today. Sorry. I threw a curveball. Sorry. Um, so okay. what exactly, Katie, does this come with? Does this <laughs> – this is the – competitive sure. Maria saying, do you get any money? Do you get Apple yeah. devices for all 300 kids? Um, what um, what distinguishes um, a distinguished sure. school? Yeah, that's, a, that's an excellent question. Um, well, we have a really nice banner. Okay. <laughs> and a, a great plaque. And you're on the radio. Um, There's that. <laughs> and here we are. Um, so that, that's a real, like, again, that's a great question. It really opens up the pathways to many professional development opportunities for our staff to learn and grow, um, which then directly impacts our students' education. Um, for instance, um, Ms. Strelick and I are going to be going to Florida um, um, in a couple weeks, and we're going to an Apple Will Distinguish um, Leadership Conference, and okay. we get to learn from other schools, other people from around the world, and to share ideas. Um, Ms. Combs and Ms. Strelick are sitting here with me as well. They went to an accessibility training. Um, so there's just so many pathways for professional de- development and educational growth, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, that we can bring back to our county, to our schools, which, again, impacts our students' education. Um, we're also trying to connect with an Apple Distinguished School in another country. So whether we can be pen pals or we can collaborate on a project together, um, it just really opens up the doors, like I said, to many other opportunities for our students and for our staff to grow. Gotcha. Give me an idea how much technology you can integrate at the pre-K, K, <laughs> first and second grade uh, levels. And, you know, we're, the three of us in this room grew up without technology in the cra- in the classroom. <laughs> it was a, about a piece of chalk. You went up on the chalkboard and you yes. wrote the answer, right? Uh, but this sure. generation has grown up entirely differently, and they understand yes. this stuff at a much younger age than we certainly did. So tell me how much you can integrate sure. at these ages. Sure. And I want, if it's okay, I'm going to pass this over to Ms. Combs, our library media specialist. And who, who are we speaking with again? Hi, this is Kara Combs. Kara. I'm the library media specialist. When you read the titles, I think you said technology integration specialist, and we actually have one of those who's not here with us today, but I'm library media library specialist media. at Marlowe. Very good. Thank you, Kara. Yes, but I'm responsible for teaching. I actually kind of have two jobs because we're a very small school, um, so I'm a technology and library teacher, but library media title kind of covers right. both you're, of those. You're a small school of 300 students, pre-K yeah. through two, yes. <laughs> That's true. Pre-K, um, it doesn't come to the library on like a weekly basis, um, and they are not one-to-one with devices. So mm-hmm. the Apple Distinguished School is really a K-12, to um, I mean, award, but our whole school is also responsible and uh, kind of achieved that designation together. Okay. Yeah, give me an um, idea of their daily interactions with technology, how that works. Sure. Yeah. They um, So... K-2 uh, teachers integrate technology, uh, sometimes in a morning routine, sometimes to showcase learning um, as kind of like a, a, a report, like a nonfiction book report. Um, I know one of our second grade teachers who's sitting with me right now, Kelsey Strelick, and, and her second grade team, they do a nonfiction book report um, and turn it into like a, a walking gallery um, with other classes to come in and, and see the information they've learned. And it's interactive. The students present on, on that. And, and some of that's actually featured in our um, Apple Distinguished School application video, which would be found on our Marlowe website um, under Apple Distinguished School, under our school. So you could watch all of those videos. They're just three 90-second videos, and they're, they're very fun. You can see the kids speaking. So it's more interesting than, than us even talking to you today because mm-hmm. you get to see the kids' faces and what they have to say about their learning. Um, but it might be like uh, there's an Apple 
There's an Apple um, app called Keynote. Um, students can do like number stories to understand simple addition and subtraction. Um, kindergarten has done projects uh, where they um, take a picture. Um, they take a picture and, and put their faces like on a penguin and share their learnings of a penguin. Um, they they are they're a news reporter sharing what they've learned about the Arctic fox um, in the winter. Um, and in the library, even we integrate technology in the library, um, students will select a book um, and do like a little book report on why they picked that book, um, practicing typing titles and authors' names. So we kind of do it purposefully where we really see see the kid and, and um, their individual creativity while, while sharing, you know, some, like, some learning standards. Oh, very nice. Uh, what kind of feedback are you getting from the parents? Uh, well, on my end, as a classroom teacher, they are they're really loving when we share um, the students' work. When they can see the kid enjoying, their student enjoying uh, their time in the classroom, what they're learning. See, so, so much of this is digital, so it's so easy to share as a teacher out to the parents, rather than if it were paper and pencil. That, that, is, that is great and has its place, but a teacher would take a picture of it and share, and it's not interactive for the parent. They don't see the student's um, individual enjoyment of a project, where if they're seeing a video of a small group sharing about something they've built or um, something they've created with a number story or hearing their voice, on an online seesaw portfolio, it's it's really uh, really nice as a as a parent to see what's happening during the day. How quickly do these kids pick up on this technology in regards to how soon they can use it and even almost perfect I it? I, it's pretty amazing. They they pick it up right away. We give them directions. They do it. They do things once, twice, three times, <laughs> and they're able to replicate it soon after. Yeah, uh, prior technology and current technology. Are you seeing a difference in the attitude of the students? Are they more excited mm -hmm. about learning with new technology or is is a continuation of what you've seen in mm -hmm. years past? Yeah, I, I think students love they love something new. They like and that's what I think when the teachers um this is Katie, I'm sorry. When the teacher are introducing a new project, whether it's an AI activity um or they're creating a movie or we're using technology that they're not typically familiar with. They're not you're using it in a different way. Um, it's a, we're not, it's not typically games or watching videos. It's more the creating, enhancing, and so they get to show their creativity and expression through a technology through technology. Maria, so is this um, designation? Um, is it ongoing then, ladies? I mean, how do you have a start-stop date, or does this just continue um, as long as you um, continue this relationship with with Apple? Sure. It's for three years. This okay. designation is from 2023 um, to 2026, and then we can renew um, at that point, which, of course, I think if we're, all, we'll see, we're still here, we're very committed to this. So that, that is our goal. Do you find teachers in other uh, pre-K through uh, uh, through 12 coming to you, saying how, looking at the, su the success you have and how they can mimic or follow what you're doing? You know, they, they are what, more than welcome. We, we've kind of kept this designation, you know, under wraps because we weren't allowed to share until the 1st of October. Um, but, you know, that's part of being an Apple Distinguished School is having an open door for anyone to come, not anyone, of course, yeah. other educators to come and see and learn and grow from each other. So we are, are welcome to that opportunity. We've had people in the past come and check out different things that are going on within our classrooms as far as educators go. So that door is definitely open. And uh, what was Miranda's uh, role in all this? Is Miranda there still? Miranda was unable to come um, today, but she was that support person. She was kind of the middleman between Apple and, um, and Marlo. She helped um, provide us with that Apple coach at our school um, when we were trying to try new different um, activities within our classroom. 
you know, the teacher was like, I don't know if this is going to work. And so she was like that <laughs> support person on the side mm-hmm. to help us, you know, muddle our way through that. You know, we have 23 kindergartners in one classroom and you want to try something new with technology. It can be a little, you know, unnerving you know, feeling. And so she was always willing to come to our school and support our teachers and to guide them through that process and, and be that, you know, encourager. And, and so she was really, really, you know, an integral member of our success here at Marlowe. And uh, is Kelsey there still? Yes, she's right here. Kelsey, can we talk to you for a moment? <laughs> of course. Yeah, okay. So, Kelsey, you're in the classroom, correct? Yes, sir. I'm in second grade. See that bill she called me, sir? Now I'm on the same level as you. <laughs> it's, now it's okay to call people, sir. I'm okay with it now. Right. As long as it's not ma'am. Ma'am is, yeah. Don't call Maria ma'am, ma'am no, though. Yeah. yeah, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> so give me the idea, since you're in the classroom and you are, you are, I presume, helping to implement this right in front of these kids' faces and getting them started. Tell me how this went. You know, thanks to Mrs. Worthington and her vision for how we wanted to kind of roll this out, it, it really wasn't bad. She all right away from the get go when she started at Marlowe had a coach for us. Um, and we worked with her every year since Mrs. Worthington has been here five years, six years, mm-hmm. six years now. Um, so once a month we would work with an Apple coach that would come in and she'd be in our classroom and she would just teach us the process. This is how you teach technology to your students. You know, it's not just throw all these steps at them at once go through slowly, make sure they understand each process, each step, why are we doing this? Um, <clears throat> and it, by the end of the year or the end of, end of the first year, they were able to help us, teachers. You know, well, I remember we did this the first time, and that's not how we're doing it now. Uh, they love to do that. <laughs> um, Lessons so from just, a second grader, right? Right. <laughs> um, so, I mean, just teaching those basic steps, and we have such a great school. Everyone works so well together. So when they learn these these simple things in kindergarten, we can kind of build upon them from library media and then first grade and then second grade. And when we send them off to to third grade at Potomac, you know, they're ready to go. And we get compliments all the time from our third grade teachers about how prepared they are and how many skills they have and how thankful they are that that they have all these things ready to go. That's great. That's wonderful to hear. Can anybody do this? You know, or can is it is it hard to attain what you folks did and get this designation? Could it be copied throughout Berkeley County? It's definitely a, a rigorous process. Um, it, we all needed to to be on board for sure at the school. We couldn't have some people wanting to do it and some people not willing to put in the work and the effort. Um, and once we all got on board and we agreed, yeah, I think we have things happening in the classroom that are worth showcasing, um, it kind of went seamless. Now, I won't say that it was easy. Um, we spent a lot of hours after school well into the middle of the night putting videos together and looking at all of our artifacts and, you know, what would be best to showcase our school. So it took a lot of time and effort, um, but I think if you're willing to, to really look at your school overall and see what you're doing, I think it would be worth it. Any final questions? Well, in, in this case, uh, Marie, anything? No, okay. I'm good. Any final thoughts from you folks there at the school? No, just again, thank you for having us on your show. You know, this, this designation means a lot to our staff, and they, they, I wouldn't trade these people for the world. They're, they're amazing educators, and um, they, they deserve this recognition. So thank you so much for your, for your time. All right, the special K's, Katie, Kara, and Kelsey. Good job over there at Marlowe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yet the Apple, Have a great day. Apple School of Distinction. That's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm.